November 3 is one of the biggest events in the world. US elections. And not just for the people of US, but for 7.5 billion people outside US too. As their lives will be impacted as well by the world superpower. However, both President Donald Trump and Democratic nominee Joe Biden have contrasting policies when it comes to world order, be it about China, NATO, or climate change, and will determine fate of billions of people. United, we can and will overcome this season of darkness in America. We cannot afford to be so politically correct anymore. But what are their foreign policies? and how each one of them will shape the world. If Trump gets back, the office will continue remaking Washington's foreign affairs in his own image as an America's first nationalist leader, focusing more on deals rather than alliances, cozying up to authoritarian strongmen. Biden would not be able to turn back America to Obama days. But he would seek a more traditional model of US foreign policy, one that would have an outrightly different impact on traditional US allies and foes. The doctrine's success in today's altered geopolitical landscape would remain to be seen. For the world, Trump will mean a more fragmented, competitive, nationalist world, as the United States will be more willing to walk an increasingly isolated path, eventually abandoned by its very long time allies. But even if Biden wins, the US will never be trusted in the same way as before. Perhaps the most obvious consequences of this election will be on the world's two most pressing issues, climate change and COVID-19. Trump long stance on climate change. So Obama is talking about all of this with the global warming and the, that and a lot of it's a hoax. It's a hoax. I mean, it's a money making industry. OK, it's a hoax. And if he wins, he will follow through on his pledge to withdraw from the Paris Agreement on climate change. Many experts have already pointed out failure of Trump administration in dealing with COVID-19. And in a second term, the president has signaled he won't join international vaccine cooperation and would completely withdraw from the WHO, WHO, World Health, and uh, they misled us. I don't know. They must have known more than they knew. In contrast, Biden has pledged to completely reverse the Paris Agreement in either crisis would remain to be seen. Next on China, the difference is very less clear. Both Trump and Biden have vowed to get tough on Beijing. With hard trade war tactics, Biden seeking the cooperation of European allies. Some observers believe Trump's stepping back from multilateral institutions has created a vacuum China is more happy to fill. In the Middle East, Trump would likely to keep pressure on Iran while backing Israel over the Palestinians. America will not be held hostage. Biden would seek to revive the Iran nuclear deal that Trump scrapped while possibly offering more criticism of Israel. In the past few days, in the wake of the killing of the Iranian general Soleimani, I think Donald Trump has proven beyond that comment, beyond dispute. Trump would most likely continue his solidarity with Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Biden and his running mate Kamala Harris, who has Indian heritage, might seek to hold Modi to greater account on human rights. Same could go for Brazilian President Jair Bolsonaro, another populist Trump ally. Trump has fostered a friendship with North Korean dictator Kim Jong-un. Biden calls Kim a tyrant. However, neither have much hope of persuading Kim to give up his nuclear arsenal. When it comes to America's relationship with Russia, its former Cold War adversary, President Trump is often accused of being soft on its leader Putin. If he says great things about me, I'm going to say great things about him. I mean, the man has very strong control over a country. Now, it's a very different system, and I don't happen to like the system. But certainly, in that system, he's been a leader far more than our president has been a leader. But Biden is more likely to come out more aggressive on Russia. European powers like France and Germany would be overjoyed to see the back of Trump after enduring years of insults, ultimatums and threats. Biden would repair some of that diplomatic damage, but he would pressure NATO allies to spend more on defense as other presidents have done but obviously politely than Trump. 
While President Trump can point to significant accomplishments abroad like Israel's normalization of relations with some Arab countries, North Korea's nuclear testing abstinence, tightening Russian sanctions and avoiding further involvement in Syria, others fear the global consequences of re-electing a president who, in their view, does not appear to care too much about projecting American values of democracy and liberty.